trenches Ask a nigga what he branches Triple digits, nigga, don't forget to mention Hold hard in the trenches Ask a nigga what he branches Triple digits, nigga, don't forget to match. Don't forget to I got to memories, they stay in the whole room If I let him bleed, shit was dark I let this little light of mine Ray Hopkins Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's start yeah. off the shot in the good foot. Yeah. My bad. Um, I felt like... That's the good foot. That's actually two good feet because it's a step back. Well, I know who don't got two good feet. Who? DeMarcus with a broken that's foot. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. We know who don't yeah. got two good feet. That's cool. I'm saying I've, I've been wanting some of his money back, so you gotta pay that. Yeah, back. well, he got yeah. it. He got it all. All the bread going in his pocket. He's not giving it back. Well, wait a minute. He's doing the same thing. Gotta pay that. Wait a minute. Both of them gotta pay that back. Yeah. Wait. Y'all got a. Y'all got a few people out. Nicholas. Yeah. Got um, a few out. With the Lyell out five games, doing Luna? the PEDs. Uh. 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 What's the boy Zach Martin playing this week? Nick. Yeah, he'd probably be back. Oh, okay. So he's Zach Martin, so Gallup, Gallup is practice, on. Did he practice? Did he practice? Did he practice? Yeah, he, for, said, uh, he said, yeah, he said, yeah. He said, yeah. He can't practice, bro. It's COVID. Why you put your thumbs what? up then? I said that Zach Martin practice. That's what I asked you. <laughs> okay, man. He All was right. out for COVID or he was out for injury? He's over COVID, bro. He wasn't. Um, he tried to get okay. two negative tests. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, okay. But uh, uh, yeah, yeah. gonna be pretty so, short this week. You know so, what I'm um, pretty short, but we'll be all right. We we'll got it. Ryan, did your kids miss you? Oh, you don't go back to school until tomorrow, I'd imagine, right? Uh, we actually off tomorrow, so I'm actually off tomorrow, but I go back on Friday. Oh, you go back on Friday? You think your kids gonna miss you, bro? Or they don't? They don't really fuck with you like that. Oh, I for sure they missed me. That's guaranteed. I ain't even worried about that. They didn't even know I was gone. So I doubt I'm it, bro. They sure they gonna, they gonna have... You gonna you gonna tell them you gonna tell them what you did in Miami, bro? Nah, nah, nah. You're too young for that, man. What you mean? Why they need to know all that? Because <laughs> they're not gonna be able to comprehend that, what you're saying, bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? You could tell them they'll forget it. Please trust me. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all about these kids nowadays, bro. They remember stuff, they know stuff, and they don't forget, bro. So do not forget, I'm telling you, these new school uh, 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 kids, little third graders. Mr. Same, Reed, bro. remember that time not you told us same. in September when you was out there in the South <laughs> Beach sucking the toes? Yo. <laughs> I told that my mom same, and she said bro. I shouldn't be saying these things. Exactly. That's then, then the problems you come up with right there. That's why you don't talk about stuff. Yeah, I feel it. I feel That's it. That's kind of wild. What you mean? Uh, that's kind of the facts. This Sherman is oh Sherman just sent us the whole he told us study the plays. We got a wrist wristband for a reason, bro. All oh, y'all wear wristbands? He just started getting he we just started this week. So this past Sunday. But um I would say like five or six of us had wristbands. And then oh, wow. outside of that, like whoever's up on the field had them. Um or they switched them something. It was kind of, it was new. It didn't really help us because Sherman was still fucking calling the play and then outlining what everybody had to do. I'm like, what's the what's the point of the wristband if you want to keep telling us what we got to do in the huddle? <laughs> we still not getting to the yeah. run in time. Yeah. Some point you got to practice what you preach. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Welcome back to another episode of the Trap or Dive podcast. This is the All 32 mm-hmm. side of the Trapper Dive, man. And we are going around the NFL tonight with the boy Snickerless and the boy Ry Rizzle. Um, yeah. Fellas, how are y'all doing today, man? I, I haven't, it felt like I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. Um, Today's a better day. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I went to Miami on the day that we actually played uh, the Cardinals on Sunday. Game kicked off at one o'clock. I Where'd landed in Miami around... 
I had to watch it on my phone because we were, I was in the midst of traveling from the airport to the Airbnb. Then when I got to the Airbnb, like something's wrong with the Wi-Fi, so I just had to rock out with my phone. But, you know, let's just say my trip to Miami didn't start off the way I anticipated. Uh, my boys didn't come out to play like they were supposed to. And, um, you know, it took me a little while to get out of my phone. I was mad, bro. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Yeah, Nick yeah, was well, asking yeah. me questions. And, and, Go ahead. Huh? No, I'm just saying, niggas. I don't, one thing I don't understand about niggas, he just thinks I'm going to have conversation for him <laughs> when he's asking me questions about why why a certain player is doing so. I'm like, Nick, please stop texting me, bro. Like, I do not want to respond nor care to speak to you, bro. Like, stop texting me, dog. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, needless to say, um, I'm good, man. Uh, today's Wednesday, another day. Another week, week two, another day. You know, I'm good. Now, a serious question. You know what? I'm gonna just look it up because I ain't, I ain't anybody do that to you, bro. I was about to ask. No, you. I'm, 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 I'm better today. You know I was gonna ask talk you. Talk about something. I was today. really gonna ask you. Did y'all score? Because I forgot to score the game. Yeah, we scored. Man. Did y'all score 13? a touchdown? Oh, 13. All right. The garbage time. Or it was like, oh. no, no, it wasn't garbage time. It was like in the second quarter. Matter of fact, it was AJ Brown. Let me see. Oh yeah, 38, 30. Hey, so let me talk. Mm. Let, me, let me. What was going on with this Julio thing, man? I saw. I saw something after the game, and maybe you know better than I do. I hope you do. I mean, yeah, you're on man. vacation, so oh, you do know. All right, bet. Just tell me what happened. What the yeah. hell? What the hell was going on? Uh, it was a point in the game where we were, of course, down by a couple scores and trying to keep pace in the game. Uh, our running game wasn't really working at all in the first half, um, but at this point in the game, in the second quarter, we started to get couple runs going, Derek was going, and he had just ran nine yard gain on second down. And Julio Jones is fighting with one of the DBs after the play. Granted, the DB was grabbing Julio, but you know it's one of them things where the ref catch the second the second person um after the first incident is already Number done. Two. So it went from about to be a third and one in the possession that I feel like we really needed to keep pacing the game. Um down turned into third and 16 because he hit the corner after the play and rep called him and it of course killed our drive and of course you know Rabel wasn't happy about it neither was i i was surprised that julio jones like i've never even seen julio act like that like i don't even know why he made him do that but you know that's what happened and mike they asked mike after they, they asked him on monday actually it wasn't yeah, that's right why after I was, that's what asked, yeah, it was monday that's why yeah, it was monday so yeah um, so from one one loser to another, uh, the Cowboys lost mm -hmm. in the very first game of the season. Um, Nick, last time we talked, uh, we had you had the Tampa Bay first half, and uh, Ryan had the, the the Bucks in a blowout, essentially at least ten points, and then I had the Cowboys covering. Uh, your your your. It would have happened. How? Well, I'm glad it didn't because I won. Um. I want my money. I'm about to say, you know what I'm saying? Best is about ain't about what it could have should have. It's about what happened, right? Nah, all right, bro. I'm just saying, bro. At half what the down you're supposed to do, we wouldn't be sitting here today. I'd be three and up. No, no bullshit. All right. So, Nick, um, how was everything how's everything with you, bro? Uh, but also talk to us about these these cowboys, bro. What what, what was your takeaway? I know you I know who you're gonna talk about, but you might as well uh, talk about it here. Oh man, uh, well, just to throw it out there. I went three and zero. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> on my best bets last we, week. Just want to throw that out we there. We're gonna talk about that. At least we talk about that after. Yeah, I mean, we, we, and listen, bro. We all got to bet on the same thing, bro. You can't keep taking the first half, bro. That don't really count. So here's bro. a here's a kill. Here's that, a kill. What Nick did. It's it's okay if he takes the first half, right? But here's the issue. This Nick, this man Nick, gave us that fuck that bet. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to watch my mouth and shit. Um, he gave us that bet. And the line, I don't even think the line was accurate at the time that he gave us the bet. Like it wasn't the it wasn't the Wednesday line. So he gave a bet that he took, but he didn't tell us like you know the the whole backstory behind it. So I just put the I just put the number down. I don't even know I don't even know if it really covered or not. Well, actually, it did because they uh, I think they was up by like five at halftime, but still, um, it was just a different yeah. line. That's what it was. But I ain't got no problem with the first half. It's no it's not wrong with that, but. So um, basically, but I'm saying like, if, if if but here's what I'm saying though, you if we're betting to be the line for the, yeah. that's what I'm saying, bro. Like if, if we betting the line for the game, we betting the line for the game, not not the half, bro. 
Okay. All right. I feel from like now that's on, easy, from that's now on, that's for easier. Ryan, that's why I bet it, boy. But for regular, for Ryan's, you know, preference, I will bet the full yeah. game. There you go. It's, it's still go three and zero. If you'll get, if I, you know what I'm saying. It, it yeah. sounds good. It sounds good. Just do it, bro. You seen Just a lot of the week last week. Um. But yeah, I'll talk about real quick. Bro. Matter of fact, if you if you had what? that joint at the uh the, the quote unquote lock of the week, I was saying it got dicey because if you had that joint, if you took the if you took that number at the start of the game, you lost. <laughs> Cause they, they ended up you coming back. They're best at the beginning of the week, baby. Yeah. But go ahead, man. How, how's everything? Yeah, go ahead and cause you, you started talking about your goddamn record and ain't even talking about your team and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get to that. I just had to get that out talk there. Talk about the you know. losers, bro. Um but um yeah, I talk about my boys, bro. You know what I'm saying? I told I said it was gonna be like a five percent chain. Um they got on the sword. Uh we made some turnovers on surprise to the defense. We got no sacks, which was um disappointing. Uh very disappointed actually. But then you know what I'm saying? I ain't surprised. Uh Micah looked a little lost in the first half, picked it up in the second a half. A little I was really looking at him. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's to be doing? That boy was out of place. I mean, we I mean we can talk about it if you want. You talk about a little. I you mean Thomas. You want you want to know, know who's lost? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Let's talk about uh whoever cuz is with the dreads from your squad who got lost in that step back. Like, that's that's not even a that's one player. You I'm I think you about to talk about something. I'm else. pretty sure it was more. There's he somebody else that you can do really I mean that oh, play was oh, just crazy. Side? I mean Go ahead. Now finish talking about your score. Go ahead. Okay. Um, but I think we look good <laughs> offensively. You know what I'm saying? We look good. Uh, I feel like we should run the ball a little more. Um, Devin White okay. is the beast. Um, Fantasy. But yeah, all in all, we could have won that. We could have won that game, bro. We should have made a couple plays at the end of the game. You know what I'm saying? After we kicked the field goal. But My game Tom, was live. I mean, some of my game had to be live this week. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, te- technically, y'all game was live too. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, technically, the ligament is not live, and Demarcus Lawrence foot, so he's gonna be out. Bet that's a bet. We got an injury clause in his contract, so we good. Oh um, yeah, bro. What is it? What is it? You don't know nothing about the injury. Come on, bro. I was there to sign him, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just right, negotiated right, it, bro. All right, all right, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Dak looked good. You know what I'm saying? Receivers picked it up. CD dropped a couple jumps early, but then he ended up with a seven. A couple? Picks. Yeah, nigga, a couple. End up more like three. Right. Right. What? Bro? He, was he it three? The, the, he just went technical on your ass, bro. Let me yeah, talk about That's boys, what bro. Nick just did. And he still caught seven for 104 in the TD. That's all I'm saying. It could have been for 204 in two TDs, but he saw it. Okay. I ain't got him in fancy. <laughs> I ain't tripping. Me neither. But like I was saying, I, mm-hmm. I, all around, I think we had a good game. You know what I'm saying? I think it, you know what I'm saying we lost one. You know what that means? Playoff bound, baby. We out here, baby. You know what I'm saying? Well, so we, you know, I mean, we look, got y'all got the Chargers up next, bro. Um, now, I'm not going to sit here and say they look, they're going to. Look as dominant against y'all like they did against us, but them motherfuckers got they got a good offense and a good defense too. You know what I'm saying? They not they not no slouches, but y'all could run against them. You know what I'm saying? Are you, you know I'm saying you confident going up? I didn't get a chance to catch our game, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, what you want, what you want to see? I don't really want much. He said, "What I want to see." I mean, no, I'm not, I'm I'm typically I, I like to catch all the skins games as, as long as they're not playing the same time with my boys, but. Yeah, look, you bro. know, I, I wanted to, I wanted to see um, how y'all look with Haneke and playing the whole game. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, it was probably it was probably one of the most frustrating games from the standpoint that everybody <laughs> failed, like from the coaching staff to the players. Like we were talented, like you know, it was it was a good matchup talent wise, just like comparing everybody to each other on the opposite end. Like every each team to each other, like we 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 stacked up well against the Chargers, but these guys look so lost defensively. Out of all out of all the units, special teams, offense, defense, the defense is the, the strong side. They looked so they looked so lost, um, and it was frustrating to look at. Um, 
You're talking about Heineke. Lost on, 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 you talk about from the, from the DB? The front end. The DB hold on, back end. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I'll the front end, no, the front end to the back end, uh-huh. right? The Chase Young got strapped. Um, Mont, like, we had no pressure. We had, like, a 12% pressure rate against the Chargers. Um, the, the linebackers park, couldn't cover. Secondary. Um, the corner, the, the safeties were fine, but the cornerbacks were getting beat like a fucking drum, bro. Cornerback, two five. Co- Two five. Kendall I heard, Fuller. I heard the fact Kendall, that you I mentioned St. Kendall Juice and didn't that. realize that Kendall Fuller was getting picked on, the veteran was getting picked on every single time he lined up against Mike Williams or uh Keenan Allen. Keenan. Like he was getting cooked, bruh. Like you couldn't you couldn't hide uh-huh. him if you wanted to, bruh. Like that's how bad it was. So All I know is on a third down, back shoulder fade, it it was disgusting, bro. Like everything who it though to Williams, Mike Williams. Yeah, Mike Williams, you know. You must be talking about the last back shoulder jump. jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I mean, all day for real. The TD, it was just, it was ugly, bro. Um, But in his defense, uh, he really don't got nothing for real, so I ain't got shit for him. But he's some shit. You said what? What you say? What you talking about? Twenty. I said in his defense, I he ain't really got nothing, so he'd be all right. Who? Who you talking about? Twenty five. Twenty five. They was slicing them all. Hey, so so my mom, winners on the boy um, that y'all picked up from Cincinnati gonna play. William Jackson. He got a pick. He played. William Jackson. Yeah, he, he, got, he got. Oh, he played. Yeah, he got picking. Okay. Man. He got picking the red zone. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably part of the problem too. Uh, just to sum it up, he got picking the red zone. They were driving all game. Like they had nine. They had eight drives. Eight. Well, nine drives. Um, the last one, you know, they nailed the ball, but they had nine drives. Seven of those drives went into the red zone. Like that's how. That's how. Wow. Yes. They converted fourteen first downs out of out of eighteen attempts. <laughs> And they only had 20 points? They broke a record. It, so it was two things that, that kind of helped them out. Well, first off, they beat themselves in the red zone. We didn't stop them except for one time, and that was a William Jackson pick. That was the only play the defense made all game, literally. But outside of that, we forced a fumble, quote-unquote, put this in quotations, forced a fumble in the red zone that should have been an incomplete pass, but the refs gave us a fumble. So that's one of the reasons why they didn't score on one possession in the red zone. Um, and then there was like a few drops here and there on third down, uh, not not third down. Um, yeah, like one or two on third down, uh, and then obviously the two the two other missed opportunities because of turnovers in the red zone. So uh, that's the only reason why they didn't score. Uh, that's the only reason why they didn't score, bro. And then the last one was a nail down. Like the seventh the seventh red zone drive was a nail down. So they they fucking wow. they fucking they they put us in a blender. <laughs> they fucking did it to us, bro. It was bad from the coaches. The coaches ain't know what they was doing. The players ain't know what they was doing, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. I was. Hey, man, I was who y'all got like, this week? Who y'all got this week coming up? We play tomorrow. Play the Giants. Giants. Oh yeah. I, 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 I might too. be going to that game. Look I mean, it, it'll be a good Look game. It'll be a good game. I'll tell you that. Uh, I, might be, I might be going to that game. I don't know if we're going to You might be going to that game, right? What's going on? Probably because uh, you know, Todd, yeah. I'm about to say, that's the, that's the only way I'm going to pay him for it. Well, I wouldn't, I'm not even paying for the game. He'd be getting tickets from his uh, coaching staff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He um, talk man, about, they talk about box seats, too. Oh, that means y'all going to eat good, <laughs> bro. Dan, hey, can I come? Yeah. No, he said he's trying. He said he's trying to get through these tickets. I mean... Uh, uh, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I'm I can't. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, Nick. Nick could. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, let's get into some true or false, man. And, and uh, I was gonna start with it. You know what? Yeah, then I'm gonna start with the Titans, man. Uh, I'm gonna let you get some things off your chest if you need to. But also, this is part of true mm-hmm. or false. You saw the you saw the outline. Uh, true or false? The Titans will bounce back versus Seattle. Um, Ryan, you get you take the stab at this one. Um, well, we can't play much worse um, after what we played on Sunday. To be honest, I feel like we jumped out of there. And I honestly, going to the game, I really felt like we were ready for the game. But clearly, um, the game tape says otherwise. Like, they jumped out there and they were not ready to play on both sides of the ball, really. It took, it took us too long to get started on offense. Uh, play calling, I don't know. It kind of got better as the game went on, but it wasn't enough. Um, I felt like the game really – Change in the first quarter when Chandler Jones got three sacks in the first quarter. I've never seen Taylor Juan get beat so bad. He ended up with so five, bad. right? 
Yep. He ended up with five, but he had three in the first quarter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And one of the sacks that he got resulted in a touchdown. Uh, it was a bootleg. Tanley Hill came up and showed him. He came unblocked, smacked the ball out of Tanley Hill's hands. As soon as he turned around, he walked in there for a TD. And then it was just like a – it was like Chandler Jones was trying all his moves against Taylor LeJuan. It was all working. Like, it got to a point where Taylor LeJuan went out of the game like with the injury. You know what I'm saying? Because this is after he had three sacks. He went out of the game with injury. Chandler Jones comes back, gets another sack on, on the backup that we put in the game. So he comes back in right after that possession. And then, of course, he gives up another sack. Like, it's just – it was – it, yo, I could not – I had no words. I'm like, like, this man is still not being doubled. Like, why is he still getting single blocked over there? To tell the ones if it's like I said – I've never seen him play like that. Hopefully, I've never seen him play like that again. Um, he tweeted about it afterwards, but I don't really care to see the tweet. Um, I just know. I mean, he's one of my guys. I mess with Taylor Lamar, He tweeted he got, about it. Let he, me take a look at it. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah, he tweeted about it. He was like, Chandler yeah. Jones. He basically uh, said, he whipped, he whipped my ass today. Basically. That's my, daddy. That's my poppy. Hey, that's it. <laughs> all right, all right. Niggas too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas, niggas overdid it. But um, yeah, he treated got my it. ass kicked um, today. No way around that. I let the team and fans down. Thank you, Chandler Jones, for exposing me. It would only force me to get better. Yeah. So, what a um, loser. Hey Jamal, chill out, bro. That's still my dad. I do that. But um, I definitely think we dropped back this week. Um, Seattle. Um, it's in Seattle, but it's gonna be tough. I ain't gonna hold you back. I mean, it, I don't think it's any way we can go on to, bro. I mean, it's hard for I'm, me to sit there, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, bro. I mean, the good thing is though that y'all, I mean, technically y'all can still afford it because these are two NFC teams that you're facing back to back. Um, and the NFC West teams, obviously, y'all got that division, but two NFC NFC West teams that y'all are facing back to back, bro. I'm not saying that it's okay to lose, but I'm saying if the if the situation was to play out exactly how how this is playing out, you would rather have these losses to the NFC teams versus anybody in your conference, anybody oh, in your sure. division, yeah. um, and then just try sure. and find a way to bounce back. Um, all right, well, what what, what kind of makes you nervous about that game, bro? Just the fact that it's in Seattle. Um, uh, the fact that the defense did not come out to play like they played last week. I'm um, still dealing with another mobile quarterback with a better arm, in my opinion. Russell Wilson, smaller quarterback. Got to, you know, got to get stops. I mean, the third down defense was terrible last year. I mean, can I say it's gotten better within one week of playing? I don't know. I mean, we got some stops on third down, but they still put up 38 points. I mean, we got a couple scores from defense, but still. Um, Kyler Murray. He had like five TDs. Like he he was killing us with his feet. I mean, if if we can find some way to contain Russell, keep him in the pocket. I mean, I'm just hoping. You I don't know. Sound so I depressed, know. bro. I do, bro. Ain't no, ain't no way to tell you. Bro. I'm about to say, ain't no way that the 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 first week of the season got you like this after all this goddamn talk in the off season, preseason, all this defending that you did against Rome and goddamn uh uh, uh Rick. And you over here talking about, man, I just hope, I just hope we do good you know, against the Seattle you, Seahawks. You, you, you want real or not? Here's one of the things y'all always talk about. I don't, the show know. Is I I don't too, know what to do with I'll myself. I'll be too into my team. I always guarantee doves and blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to be. Uh, At least say with some conviction, though, right? You just like under the weather, bro. Just, yeah, it sounds like, sound like, sound like you said, bro. Pick it up. Hey, bro, the whole you time we're trying not to do this. Not, what not y'all confident. not about to do is try to sit up there and tell me I'm not confident about my squad because clearly I haven't said we we're going to lose the game. Have you heard me say that? Can't tell. Okay, well, it don't matter if you can't tell. You ain't heard me say it. You ain't heard me say it. So we coming into week two. going to be a tough game. I'm not calling if we're going to win or lose. But I think we're going to come out playing much better than we played last week. I'll tell you that. All right. Um, true or false, Nick? Um. The Dallas offense will carry them to the playoffs this year. True. Um, our I defense no isn't. Yeah, I, I mean, with the injury with Demarcus, I mean, I call him domestic for a reason. This is exactly why. <laughs> my boy don't ever play 17, 16 games, bro. He just can't stay on the field. Um, it's always some shoulder, leg, thigh, headache, something, bro. Every day. So, um, I definitely think that gonna have to do it, bro. 
some way, somehow. So let me but clarify you before you get deeper into your, your response. Let me clarify. Because, uh, yeah, it did sound like obvious. Like, if they make it to the playoffs, it will be the offense. I, I pose the I pose this statement more so like, are you are you saying that they make it out of the NFC East as the division title, like as the division champion? That's what I'm saying. Like, are they making it out of the NFC East, and will it be because of their offense? Not if they make it out, will it be because of their offense? That's kind of where I was going with. No, nope. no question. Um, I do think our defense got even a little if your bit answer's better. the same. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no question. I still, still think our offense is going to have to lead us um, to promised land. Defense, I just need you to make a couple stops, key stops every game. You don't got to be every jump. I feel like if we play uh, the Washington defense, you know what I'm saying, just get them to the red zone, make them mess up when they own, I'll I be straight. Rob Merlin early. When we get back to that. Up, What's his name, Nick? No, no, no. Mess up. Rod Marinelli. That's what I meant to say. But I remember him, we used to give up hella yards, but we gave up all field goals. So if we can do that, bro, I'm, I'm cool with it. I don't care about the yards. I just care about touchdowns. We give you touchdowns, do your thing. It might look bad on paper, but we going to the offs because of Dakota Rain Prescott. Mark it. Oh, bro, why do you keep saying that man full name like that, bro? Uh, I mean, when you know somebody, that's what you do. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know that. Bro. Oh, you know <laughs> No, bro. No, 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 no. You know, all right. So, Nick, can you can you just explain to us, uh, since we have you on this show, this live stream, uh, what exactly was uh, Dak and Zeke doing at the sex shop with dildos? I'm sure you talked to him about that. Yeah, we yeah. talked about it. We talked about it, bro. Uh, it was a party mm -hmm. that night. Can't get in too much detail about it. Uh, a little wild. You know what I'm saying? You know how that? Remember that Fred Swoop party? Is Something the same. You know on that boat, they just brought little, little, little things to the party, bro. That's it, man. To get some stuff activated. You know what I'm talking about? No, bro. No, I don't. All right. All right. So y'all gay now? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to flip this on that son. That's that's what you doing, bro. That's that's a good old Nick spatula, bro. Okay. Oh, no, I'm just right, saying that's, that's what that's what they was getting. They was getting things to activate some situations at the party. With you something. ain't saying right. nothing sounds, just now. It sounds. <laughs> I'm about to say, bro. I'm just about to say. You got to talk about uh, nothing. Uh, all right. Um. Okay. So we're gonna talk about this last one. Uh, this last one together, man. The Eagles. Uh, I'll start this one off. Uh, true or false? The Eagles will be a legit contender to win the NFC East. Um. I'm gonna go. I'm. 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, fuck. I'm. I'm gonna go false. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I only thought about considering true simply for the fact that, uh, in the NFC East in general, you can never count any team out. Uh, but it's hard to kind of overreact, or hard not to overreact after seeing them beat up on the Falcons. Um, the Falcons aren't that good of a team. The Eagles have a really I, I still always trust their defense. I've always trust their defense. And I think Jalen Hurts is a little bit better than what they credit what, what people give him credit for. Um I think people look at the stats first and that's kind of where they get the, the misconception that he's not that good. But um the 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 guys the guy's a hooper. Uh well with that being said, um you're looking at a team who still is gonna end up facing the gauntlet just like the rest of the NFC East and that they face the AFC West as well. They got some uh, I forgot who their fifth, their fifth AFC team is. I don't remember who it is. But uh, point being, it's week one. I don't, I don't see them winning any more than like seven games, seven or eight games. Um, and it's probably going to take you 10, 10, 10 wins this year to win the NFC, uh, NFC East. And they're, I think I got them no higher than seven or eight. So I don't think you don't they're think competing. That's well, it depends the on when they get them. Nah, they're not. They they're not going. They they probably fighting for like second. They are not fighting for first. Like I, I mean, think, I feel like if if you if you put them two games, I feel like you just compete. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. It's fair. Um, but nah, I don't. I don't. I said again. Like I said, I see them winning at seven most. That's that's where I'm getting at. Seven seven okay. most. They not. I don't see them winning 
Like, I don't think, I think that's where it's capped off at. They can win, like, somewhere between five to seven, but seven most. I don't see them winning anything more than that. So, it will have to, they will have to be on the high end in order for them to be competing, and I don't, I don't really see that happening. Where you hey, at it'd it? be hard for me to, it'd be hard for me to say I see them win 10 games, too. I mean, that, that is, if that's the number that actually wins the NFCs. But what I will say is, I've said on this show, coming into the season, that I thought the Giants, both the Giants and the Eagles, Will be much improved this year and be better um, in the division. Um, not like not like years in the past. Um, I, I can definitely, you know, if if they can, you know, it seemed like Devontae Smith got off a little bit yesterday, which is what I like to see. Um, I like Jalen Reagan he got off a little bit. I mean, just just thinking off players off my head. I like the D tackle plays next to Fletcher Cox too. Hargraves. Hargraves. But oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, I think they they got a little solid team. I mean. If you if Jalen Hurts is able to play like that, I mean, I know a lot of his passes didn't go too far. I think I'm I'm not mistaken. Not all his passes was going past um, ten yards, but um, accuracy he's got he looked better. I mean, if you ask me, which I think I don't know which I thought about Jalen Hurts. We can talk about that after I finish, but I can see them winning like eight games, bro. I'm not going to lie to you, eight. I'm I'm, I'm leaning closer to like that. Is that like, their floor? Their ceiling? Eight. Old, That's their ceiling. I'm gonna say seven, eight, nine. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, Nick. What about you? Um, I'm gonna say no. Um, I feel <laughs> like I don't know what it is. I, I'm Jimmy kind of blew me because all is Sleazo on online. Is Sleazo on? Uh, yeah. Sleazo, if you ain't here, let me know. Uh, we'll figure out. But Jim, go ahead. Jimmy been talking about all the flaws in this team all all season, bro. Oh, they went one game. I know what happened. I know how this works. Sunday oh, afternoon, yeah. you couldn't tell this man nothing, bro. They going to the bowl. They doing this. They doing that. He didn't say the bowl. Definitely said they going to the offs. Definitely yeah, he definitely said that. Offs. He definitely said that. Uh, ceiling for this team is eight or nine. Uh, I just think it it looks so easy for them against the Falcons. Arthur Smith had a had it was I don't know what he was dialing up, but they looked terrible. Um. I don't think this Eagles team you'll see every week, in and out. Uh, the it was the Falcons, going, you right? It was the Falcons. When, when the Falcons go two and fifteen, and Eagles be end up middle of the pack, they draft in 15, 16, 17, We we ain't gonna hear no Eagles fans talking about no nothing. I just still think this division is gonna be ran by either the Washington Redskins or the Cowboys. Um, Washington football team, bro. My bad, bro. I've been forgetting they don't got no name for real. Um. But yeah, either either of those two teams, bro. Jaden did look decent, but all he did was dinging and dunking, bro, which Jimmy doesn't like. So I'm like, when he when he Jimmy, has to Jimmy win, the, said, when he has a bad Jimmy game, I'll go ahead. When no, he no, has no, to win, just... go ahead, go ahead, Ryan. No, right, no, right. no, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, my bad. I want to see when they have to actually like play a good team and put up real points and not just stat pad and you know go against Kansas or high point. You know what I'm saying? So I, w- I want to see that game when it matters uh, compared to what happened over the weekend. Um, I mean, they surprised me. I ain't bet on it, but they surprised me. Yeah, I ain't me. bet on it either. I wish I did. I wish I bet on them. I wish I bet on the Texans. Um, I think it was one so more I didn't think the Texans thing. was going to do Jacksonville like that. Oh, my. I didn't know they had it in them, bro. Tyrod looked like a whole new person. Just the Jags, that, bro. Just chill, bro. That new lung got them playing different, cuz. Hey, fool. <laughs> He said he's looking forward to playing the Browns. He should. Oh, they, well, they got the Browns in week two. Down. They got the Browns next. They got them next. Oh yeah. Mm. I mean, look, Steam if you add well. all those, they added a thousand pieces, bro. It's hard, and they got a lot of talent. Believe it or not, it's just a whole bunch of random talent. Like that's literally what it was. They put, they got, they picked up Jimmy Moreland from the Skins. Like they, they got pieces, bro. And I'm not going to sit here and act like he was like a a piece piece. I'm just saying, I'm just using him. Like they've added a whole bunch of just random. Talented guys, they and they're gonna try and make it work. I was blown. <laughs> All I one year deals and shit like that. Yeah, I found out in the preseason they had Philip. What? When yeah, did get Philip? <laughs> Mark Ingram, David Johnson, bro. That backfield is fucking stacked, bro. Yeah. And they still got they cooks. Got um, they don't got no receivers though. I'm trying to think who else. Brandon Cooks that? randomly be still cooking, bro. I yeah. didn't know he be getting. I mean, Brandon Cooks year. is still Brandon Cooks still yeah he still do that. But I'm and uh, he the else? only team they in the South. They the only team in the South with a dub. Sound like the Eagles. Damn, 
Only team in the East with a dub. They got Danny. I mean, they also, oh, they yeah, also, this, this fucking yeah. receiving core is terrible. You're absolutely right. It's only Brandon Cooks. Who else in there? Who else in there? Oh, they got Chris Conley, too, but he's 29. Um, so they got Danny Amendola, Brandon Cooks, Chris Conley. Um, let me see what else is on their roster because they didn't. They probably just didn't get targets. So let me take a look at their roster. Who the GM? He need to be fired. Andre Andre Roberts. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they could have picked up To. They cursed. Oh bullshit, bro! This is that's a terrible receiving core. But they got some. <laughs> nah, and they, they still no blew them niggas real. out, bro. Oh my gosh. I just show you how bad Jacksonville is. But I think yeah. I, I was just about to say I think uh what's his name look looked all right though, like just moving Travis. around like he felt comfortable. Yeah, I, he didn't have a good game no. statistically, but he looked comfortable. Just tried to make some, some plays a, and it, it, it yeah. backfired on him. He threw three picks. Yeah, he made one too many terrible plays. <laughs> um, passing. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get into. Uh, so we all, so we all are saying. I think we all said, we all said false with the the Eagles one, right? Nah, I yeah, said yeah, they're yeah. competing. Okay, Rice said, Rice said, Rice said true, um, and then me and Nick said false. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, and then Rye for the Titans, you said true, and then mm-hmm. for Dallas, Nick said true. Okay. All right. Um. So let's go ahead and and, and recap. What well, we ain't got to recap it, but. I'll cr- talk talk about how crazy this goddamn Raiders game was uh, on Monday night. <sighs> Son, let me tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all my betting experience. <laughs> and it's a, I, it's I a bet short. On this too. You bet on it. You must have just mm-hmm. took like a team to win because I know you ain't doing no spread. No, nah, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So Monday night, I wrap up the the the, 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 the aftermath stream for the, the Chargers and Washington game. That shit ends at like eight o'clock. So I've been, I just been doing my homework throughout the day, just trying to figure out like which way I'm leaning. Well, I was already leaning Ravens, but I was trying to figure out like what would be the blind spots and shit like that. Um, but I was like, in my head, I'm like, it's, it's no way in hell that the Ra- the Raiders could really stop them. Um, and I think if 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 Baltimore can pressure uh the, the Raiders, they'll be in good shape. Uh, so you know what I'm saying? I took I took the I took the Ravens minus three. Two units um, for me. Uh, so I took two units on that joint, bet it at 8 o'clock or 8.15, something like that, right before kickoff. So I'm like, all right, bet. Bro, when I tell you, like, we was up 14, nothing at one point. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little comfortable, 14, 3, whatever it was. Um, and it ended up being a good game. And I was cool with that. Like, I was perfectly fine with a good game. I was just like, all you got to do is win by a touchdown. And the way the game was looking... They was going Ravens were going to score another touchdown. So I was like, all right, it's just a matter of time. It's whatever. Um, I end up getting tired. I go to sleep like I think they oh, took a to they took a they they got a field goal. Um the Ravens got a field goal late in the quarter, late in the fourth quarter, and that's when I ended up falling asleep. So I missed the fact I missed oh, the boy, Raiders. Missed the game, I missed the Raiders driving down, bruh. Kicking their field goal to tie it up. And I missed everything that happened after that, bruh. But when I tell you I woke up at fucking 1 a.m., I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, the game had really right. ended around that time. Yeah, so, I, so I'm, yeah, because I heard, I heard the noise. That's how I ended up waking up because of the TV. So I'm like, I'm looking at the highlights and shit. And I'm like, all right, I had to win my money, right? I'm looking at the highlights and shit. My fucking chest is like pounding now. I'm like, hold on, bruh. There's no way in the hell. Like I already, I already knew how the momentum was shaking throughout the game and stuff like that. I knew it was going back and forth. The Raiders was competing the whole game, so credit to them. Uh, I'm not, I'm not knocking. It. I knew it was going to be a good game, but I'm looking at the highlights and the way that they're talking about it. You just knew something happened. So I see the, I see Derek Carr and them in the red zone, bro. I'm like, nah, bro. No way they scored a touchdown on their first drive, bro. And then they threw the pick in the red zone. I'm like, God is good. Let's go. And then after that, this man Lamar Jackson fumbles, bruh. Lamar Jackson fumbles, like, bruh. Bro. And I'm like, son, we can't go out like this. Um, I don't remember what happens after that. Like where when he fumbled, I know he fumbled like inside his own territory, but eventually yeah. they end up getting the ball back and something happens. And Derek Carr has the ball like at the midfield or something like that. And that's when I'm like, bruh, 
Cause they couldn't stop them all. Like the whole the passing game was it was there. Like couldn't stop them motherfuckers. And I was just see that fucking drop back. I see that ball go deep, bro. And I'm like, why are you not running with this receiver, whoever the hell you are? Why are He's you not over. running, bro? And that was stop. Humphreys. Yeah, I was like, bro, you have to keep running with this man. He goes in the end zone. I was like, it has to be a flag, right? No flag. Game over. Like you mean to tell me? Cover zero. What's even worse is I'm, got, I'm listening was, to this it man. It was a pick Rome. play, bro. It was a pick play. I'm listening to this man Rome in the joke in the chat. It was nobody I'm like, bro, Rome couldn't because Rome was Rome couldn't have been more wrong in that moment talking about the three and a half line. Like, because he was talking about the line. I'm like, if you're watching the game, there's no way in hell you thought the Raiders should have even like the Ravens had like three or four times, three or four different opportunities to win the game. That has nothing to do with the line. It has everything to do with the Ravens choking the game away. And I was like, no, bro, so if they end is, up proving um, him right, I'm gonna be so mad because not only does he get proven right, I lose my fucking money. I was on the right side, bro. <laughs> I was on the right bro, side. On the wrong side, Jamal. Shut up. Let me tell you what happened, bro. End up betting this game Sunday night. Um, after the Bears Bears game. End up betting the game, bro. I'm like, eh, fuck it. Let me just throw some bread on this game, bro. I'm gonna tell you, I would Who'd just you take. Who'd you take? Had the Ravens. Oh, so Sunday night, then right. means you had them at four then, right? Uh, it was at three and a half. I bought it. I bought it down a point. I bought it, I bought the hook because I hate hooks. But let me tell you, bro. I almost woke up and strangled <laughs> Kiki, bro. <laughs> hey, tell Kiki I said birthday too, bro. She, she in the house somewhere. But bro, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. My bad. Uh, it's Right, this is a prime example of why I only bet first halves, bro. Usually, first half, the better team wins. No questions. Bro, I'm watching this jump, bro. I'm lit. I'm like, all right, this jump, you know what I'm saying? We bound to win. Raven, ready to start, start moving the ball. I'm like, all right, hold up, bro. This, I don't like this. And I, I kind of figured it was going to go weird because the defense of Ravens was running, bro. I'm like, bro, y'all can't play man all day. It's Maybe going to bite your ass. Whoa. Yeah, I'm like, y'all going to get tired, bro. Get, you know what I'm saying? Some cover two or something, bro. Um, It get to overtime. Brian Edwards catch the jump. I, I was like, all right, I'm about to turn my TV off. But then I don't. He get the jump. I see the flag. I'm like, all right, bet. It's lit. He catch the pick. I turn my TV off. I'm like, oh, it's money in the bag. I'm going to go to sleep. Wake <laughs> up the next morning at 640, bro. Watch the highlights. I look at my bet now account. I'm like, bro, what? Bro, I'm my bread at? I'm about to I'm about to check these niggas. I'm like, hey, my bread not in my account. I know the Ravens won. I look, I'm looking at the highlights as I'm about to do the chat, and I see these niggas lose, bro. I almost fucking I was woke up the whole house. I had heart pain, bro. <laughs> I had heart pain, bro. That shit was crazy to wake up and see that see how that shit unfolded. And I couldn't I couldn't go to sleep oh, for like, man, no, for like an so hour, loud, bro. bro. Mm. It was a live game. Enjoy, I man. give you that. Like I don't I don't trip if I lose, like, especially if I'm entertained, bro. But I, I get, I get upset when there's a, a clear cut somebody should have won type deal, and I was on the side that be, they should have won, like that. I do get. It frustrated better be a blowout, that. bro. Better be a blowout. Yeah, if it's Nick, a close game, bro, I'm whipping everybody ass. It better be a blowout. My money on the line. I rather so lose the stress. But I get it. <laughs> Go ahead, Ryan. <laughs> so, um, a group of my, a group of me and my boys, um. Who we all was in high school together with, we just decided and Taz in this group chat too. Um, we just decided out of the out of the blue that we would bet on we would um make a Google form of all the games and we would all pick make our picks and then every week, whoever the winner was, whoever wins the most games, throw that person thirty dollars, right? So it came down to me me and Todd was the last um it came out that came not just us two in the Ravens game was decide who would get the money because um I had like out of the out of the games, I think I had eleven correct and Ty had the same, but he picked the Steelers to beat the Bills and nobody else did. And then I also mm. picked the Ravens to beat the I mean excuse me, the Raiders to pick the Ravens. Now, can I honestly say I thought the Raiders the Raiders are a better team than but no, I didn't think so. But at the same time I'm thinking Raiders at home, first game with fans. It's gonna be wild. Thinking like a gambler, I, like, I love it. Okay. I just felt like you know what I'm saying they would have enough to pull it out. And to be honest, as live as the game was, you know, when 
He threw that pick in the red zone. I was so hurt, bro. I'm like, oh my god, that was the bread right there. But then he came back and Max Crosby, bro. I did not, bro. Max Crosby's likes that. I didn't know he was that nice. He's likes that. He was disrupting the line the whole game. Made him fumble. I was like, oh, it's up, bro. It is up. Came down, field goal, OT. They, when they got the ball, I knew they was going to score, Brian. There's nothing nothing told me they was not going to score. Like, They're they going down scoring this joint. Yeah, Zay Jones, wild they had open. the ball in that fucking – that goddamn like, overtime, yeah, no, I was like, bro, they, they was going to score. Looking at them highlights. So, bro, I, I got a question, bro. Since you had money on the games, was NFL Sunday live than it usually is? I mean, no, because I play fantasy. So – you know, I'm always in tune to everything. It's just always live to me. You know what I'm saying? Not the same, bro. It's not it's the really same. Not. I mean, it's, it's every, I mean, honestly, bro, I'm tuning to almost every game as I that I could do hands on Sunday. So I mean, I'd be definitely into it. It was, it was, yeah. All right, okay. I gave, I guess, a little more added incentive that I had money on the game. All right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to make a a dreamer parlay, bro. I bet you your whole Sunday would be lit, especially if if you win in that jump, bro. A one. Yeah, it's gonna be stressful to though. See the great heads in my in my in my chin jump, bro. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, ugly bro. Send me that. <laughs> you said send him. You want him to send you his gray hairs? His gray hairs? Like, what's wrong with him, bro? Man, I'm you talking about the dreamer pits. What are you talking about, bro? What you, you know, just nah, telling I, me? About? I would. I, was, I, I would. I wouldn't send you a dreamer, bro. You got to make your own dreamer, bro. I don't want to be a part of. If you lost, I'm gonna be a part of. I'm what thinking. You, okay, well, I don't know what you was talking about then. He got. I want you to make a dreamer. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm making an account. All right. Um. Hey, let's get up out of here with these these uh these week two picks, man. So. Uh, we do have three games, as always. Let me go ahead and pull up the spreadsheet for everybody who is watching uh, on YouTube and Twitch. We got the uh, Beat the Odds spreadsheet. Where is the... How the hell do I get out of the full? I don't know how to do it. I got a full screen. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. Boom. All right. So we got three games. I, I had a I had a game. Nick brought a game. And then we all have the Sunday night football game, which would be Minnesota and Arizona, uh, Denver and Jacksonville, and then Kansas City and Baltimore, which is the Sunday night primetime game. Um, last week you see the records up here. Let me zoom in just a little bit more for everybody who is watching. Um we all we all went at least two dubs. Uh, I went two on one. I went two on one. Uh, somebody went three and zero. Oh. Um, and this week we're all going to try and go undefeated. Um, yeah, there's that. So except Nick. First game first, we have the Minnesota Vikings against the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals What's the are line? the Cardinals are four and a half point favorites. And just a reminder for everybody who are listening, we are making plays. Two things that we need to clarify. We are making plays from the Wednesday line. No other day. So when you hear this, is we are playing everything off the Wednesday line. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing, this is always for entertainment. Um, if we make sense and you want to ride with us with our bets, obviously do so. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, we always, me and Nick put money on games all the time. But we aren't professionals. So... I don't want to. I don't want you getting mad at us. You know what I'm saying? Because you made a play that we convinced you on. Because odds are we probably made the same play. But I'm just saying, you know, it's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? This is for fun. Uh, but some of these, some of these things we do end up putting money on. Uh, with that being said, uh, Nick, I'm gonna hand it to you first. You have Arizona minus four and a half against the Minnesota Vikings. What you got? Give me Arizona. Um... It's actually four now, so let me change it. It's, it. It moved to four, so we got four. All yeah, right, definitely. What's funny is if it had a hook, I would have took Minnesota. But let me get Arizona. Um, I, they're at home, I believe, right? Yeah, they're at home. Yeah, home opener. Um, Kyler Murray is is still early in the season. He's still healthy. You know what I'm saying? Them legs still moving. I feel like they might have another field day on that Vikings defense. Um, I do believe the Minnesota put up some points, but it wouldn't be enough to cover. Uh, let's go. 
27-34 Arizona. Okay. Okay. All right, Rob, what you got? Yeah, I'm not going to put no score on it, but I'm, I'm definitely going to take yeah, Arizona a minus score. All right, Arizona I'm minus four. Take them uh, minus four. Going to go ahead and keep this same trend going for Rick. Give him that NA. NA. Mm-hmm. That good old NA. All I don't right. know what he I called I call him to. Call yeah, him too. I, don't, I don't know what's going on with, uh, with Rick. He left the chest earlier today, too. So... I, that's yeah. why. I, that's why I call. Him. Oh, that's, that's why I hit him. Call. I think some shit. It gotta be some shit with his folks, bro. So <laughs> I, I, I just talked to Eric last night, though. That's what I'm saying. But... Yeah, I mean, he was talking earlier today, so that's kind of like that. That all abrupt. Something. Whatever happened happened abruptly. Um, yeah. but I guess we'll we'll figure it out. All right. Um. So minus four. Uh, Minnesota lost. That was a bad loss for Minnesota. Um. Arizona with a blowout. Uh, this is gonna be rough. Um, see, let down spot, Mark. I see what you're about. Yeah, see that's going yeah, with. that's it's like it. This always happens. Like it literally always happens in the NFL. Um, you right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fuck. I'm gonna just close my eyes and go mini, bro. It's not a bad bet. It's always those letdown spots that, that kind of gets like, and it's sixty percent of the best right now in Arizona. Um, so a lot of people are thinking that they cover. Uh, and if I had to give a percentage, I I, I would lean like fifty five percent chance that Arizona covers. But I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that forty five um, with Minnesota and rock with them. Um, okay. All right. So Minnesota. I got Minnesota. Nick got Nick and Rock got Arizona. All right, so Denver and Jacksonville. Um, Denver and Jacksonville. Denver is a six point favorite on the road against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Ryan on this one. Go ahead and get uh, Rick the good old NA right quick for the rest. But yeah, what you got, Ryan? Definitely got Denver minus six, brother. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, Definitely. Man. Me. Definitely. I'm I, honestly, man, they came out last week and I thought I, I gave them more credit than they deserved. They really went out there and got slapped by Houston. I'm surprised they went like that. Okay. Okay. Um Nick, where you at? I'm riding with PS2 and the boys, baby. Uh Denver minus six. I would take them at minus 14 if I could. Um <laughs> I feel like they they feel like they got a quarterback now, so that defense actually like played up to its potential. Offense looked good. Noah Faint out there catching all the all the you know what I'm saying. I think he had like ten catches, I believe, or something like uh, that. Six. But six. I'm thinking yeah, I'm thinking eight, of Darren Waller. Yeah, eight targets though. Um Darren Waller was getting off. Oh my well, god. Darren, he's blown Darren Waller had like nineteen targets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He started off with like one for eight, bro. Then he started turning up. I was like, okay. That's, that's not really one of one. Shout out, shout out to Malik. <laughs> Malik OB, bro. That boy, hey, he wasn't playing about Darren. Um, he wasn't playing right, about that 30 man. points a game. Yeah, about to say that, that. that part too. It took him overtime to get it, but they got it. <laughs> yeah. They got it. Um, all right, so you got Denver minus six. Um whew. I think I'm a I'm 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 a lean Denver minus six on this one. I think the thing that's kind of tripping me up is that uh, I don't think Jacksonville was as bad as they showed against Houston. But at the same time, their bad outing was against Houston. Right. right. <laughs> I'm a, that's tough, uh, man. Uh, I'm going to rock it out do the Denver minus six right here. Never mind six. Mm-hmm. I will say this though for for those who are listening for our actual opinion, if it ever shoots up to like seven, seven and a half for Denver, I'm I'm taking Jacksonville at home for the full touchdown dog. I'm taking Jacksonville, but right now I'll take that six point six point jump. Hmm. Um, so yeah, if it goes up to seven seven and a half, I'm definitely taking Jacksonville for that one. Okay, um, all right. So we have Lashley. 
Where's the game at? All right, there we go. Three and a half. All right, so it's still at three and a half as we speak. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs on the road against the Baltimore Ravens. Again, Kansas City Chiefs are three and a half point favorites. Uh, if you let Rome tell it, bet the, the home team. <laughs> but I'm going to give this to you all. Uh, Nick, you had to take the one with, take the take the lead with this one. What you got, Kansas City or Baltimore? Not touching the Ravens ever again. Um, Damn, man. <laughs> ever again. I was funny as bro. The Ravens and the Titans are the worst teams to bet on, guaranteed. Uh, so I'm gonna take Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes, help basically. But now I'm taking I'm taking the Chiefs, bro. Prime time night game. Only team that um, Lamar Jackson usually loses to is the Chiefs. So that's what I'm rolling with. Not true, but okay. Um, I mean, the, the Titans once, but twice. That's all that. Um, okay. I'm definitely taking Kansas City minus three, and it's no question. All right, so we have C minus three and a half for both of you. I don't like the fact that me and Nick did all the same tips. Either. I mean, you obviously trying to go three and zero. That's all it is, but <laughs> that's what it sounds like, bro. He's just copying your style. He's copying your style. And stuff. Oh man, so let different. me go first before him. You gotta be different. Um, go on Baltimore. Baltimore. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Damn, I learned my lesson a thousand that. times. Like the only time I ever bet against, um. I bet against Pat Mahomes twice, and I'm one and one. But that shit is so scary. That shit is so scary betting against Pat Mahomes, bro. Matter of fact, I did it. I did it three times. The other time was the Los Angeles Rams against the Kansas City Chiefs, and that that fifty point forty nine forty nine game or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, and it ended up being a push, so that's why I don't really count. Um, so I went one one and one. And that's why it's kind of, I don't, I'm going Baltimore, baby. Does, does Bar- is Marcus Peters back or is he done for the season? He's done for the season. He's done for the season. I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kansas City. Minus, minus 10. Minus 10. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Minus three and a half. Three and a half. I mean, no. Nah, it's three I, and a half, right? Yeah, it's three and a half. I'm just saying, you, you got them winning by more than 10. I got what you were saying. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, I have... Two differences than y'all. Y'all both got Arizona and Kansas City. I have Minnesota and Baltimore. We're both we're all in agreement with Denver on the minus six on the road. But I will I'm not gonna change my pick in the spreadsheet. Whatever the spreadsheet is, it is what it is. But in real life, if if Jacksonville ends up being a six, I mean seven, seven and a half point favorite, I will take that bet for Jacksonville. Um and we'll go from there. And then Rick is uh Owen Owen six uh currently as it speaks. Yep. Um that's what I'm saying. Boom. Oh man! All right, so that was that. We're done. Um, we're done with that, and I think we are good for tonight, uh, fellas. What y'all got going on this yes, weekend? Right. Oh, your mic went out. Think, mom. Your, mom, your mom went. Your mic went my, out. My mom. mom. My mom. Oh, there that's you go. Crazy. There you go. That's, that is kind of crazy, but okay. <laughs> I said, "What y'all got going on this weekend, bro? Y'all chilling, bro? I'm pretty sure you chilling after the week that you had." I mean, I would think so, but I got a couple of things I got to do on Saturday, but nothing. Oh, my bad play. Nothing. My bad play. I ain't really got to do nothing. Are you it's hooping? Because just... it looked like hooping wasn't on oh, Saturday. Oh, for sure. If y'all hooping, I'm out there. For sure. All right. All right. Um, all right so yeah. that's it. Um, that's it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening or watching, I will be back tomorrow for the pregame and postgame for the Washington football game against the New York Giants. Fellas will be back next Wednesday. Continuing to recap, we'll try and get a guest on uh, to preview one of the, the primetime games or one of the bigger games of the week uh, next Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, back tomorrow, all thirty, all thirty-two back Wednesday. Nick, you are. Hey, Mar, you think you, uh, before we get out of here, you think y'all gonna win tomorrow? I hate that question, bro. Um, I mean, it's either, yeah, yes I, no. I know it's a fair question. Yes, all right, yes, I think we win tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I'm all about to say all that trash yeah. you were talking earlier. You better say it with some conviction, nigga. Which yeah. is, you gonna, y'all gonna do what tomorrow? I mean, I don't know. Hey, it's a whole bunch what? of. Y'all gonna win tomorrow or what, bro? Well, I don't sound, I don't sound, I don't sound depressed. 
You know what I'm saying? Right, I, 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 right, I, I, I said it with my chest. I wasn't sure, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of it's a it's a complex it's a complex answer. But I, oh, to answer complex. your question, yes See? or no? Yes, I think we win. There Here, we go, go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Uh, with that being said, everybody, hey, if you're watching and listening, whatever, like, subscribe, rate, all that good stuff. One star as we find you. All that good stuff, man. Uh, Till next time. Catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Hold hard in the trenches. Ask a nigga what he bet you. Triple digits, nigga. Don't forget to mention. Hold hard in the